sir. Share your name with us, please. Uh, Jack Dysart. All right, Brother Jack, and have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? I have, but the heavens were speaking in tongues. Wow. Awesome. Well, Brother Jack, please share with us how did this happen? Well, basically, uh, uh, I repented of my sins, became a believer in Jesus Christ. Uh, roughly about four months later, I uh, was at a gospel crusade, an evangelistic crusade, and just was seeking God to just be filled with Him. And uh, as I was just worshiping and just uh, loving on Him, God just filled me with His presence. The heavens are speaking in tongues. You know, the Holy Spirit is just, it's, uh, we call Him the Spirit of the Father. It's God Himself. You know, He's omnipresent. He just comes in and lives inside of you and uh, causes you to speak a heavenly language. We call that speaking in tongues. And uh, it's an incredible experience. And that's for everybody today. It's uh, pretty simple and very real. So prior to that, would you have thought you had the Holy Ghost before that happened? Uh, I had some incredible encounters with God previous to that. I did. Uh, I really did. Uh, incredible encounters with, the Holy, with God. Uh, but there was a difference. When I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I was speaking in tongues. Like I said, it was, it was an encounter with the Holy Spirit where he, it, it was a difference. You know, yes, I had encounters with God probably previous to that. I knew he loved me. You know, and uh, but the, yes, there is a difference, and uh, if they're not to take away from previous experience because it's real. I mean, when you when you when you repent of your sins and put faith in Jesus Christ, it's a real experience. You know, uh, but when God comes to live on the inside of you, they was speaking in tongues. It's it's a unique and uh, well, I would say almost a separate experience. Wow. Well, you know? Yeah. Now you just said, and I, I do agree with you. Uh, but this is for those that listen. You just said when God, you said the experiences, and then you said, but when God comes to live on the inside of you. Right, okay. right. It's like you're experiencing God before before the Holy Spirit comes and God lives on the inside of you and you're speaking tongues. You have experiences with God. Ah. And so maybe they're external, but they're still very real experiences. But when he comes to live inside of you, okay. maybe that's a separate experience. Awesome. I would just say, uh, you know, to give God a chance. God loves you, and I know especially in America, you know, we have churches on every corner and people preaching everywhere, you know, so we think we've we've heard the gospel. We think we know what there is to know about God, and, and it's just false, you know. So I would encourage you. God is very real. God loves you very much, and he desires to make himself known to you. I would encourage you, you know, the, the plan of salvation is simple. You know, it's faith in Jesus Christ. You know, it's it's just repentance from who you used to be. It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. But it does mean there's a change of mind where you change, where you're going to follow him and you're going to obey him. And uh, like I say, you don't have to be perfect, but you do have to repent. So you just trust in him and repent. And uh, I would encourage you to be baptized in Jesus' name. Uh, not all baptisms are done in Jesus' name. Some are done in the Trinitarian formula. And I would encourage you not to do that, but to find out somewhere who will baptize you in Jesus' name. And... Uh, I would encourage you to seek God, to just fill you with the Holy Spirit. That's a second definite experience where you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You speak in tongues, and uh, God just fills you with himself. It's not, a, it's not a weird, spooky thing. It's just, you know, this omnipresent God who's everywhere with us at all times. He just comes to live inside of you. Yeah. And that's all it is. It's not weird. It's, it's very normal. Millions of people all over the world for, thousand, for 2,000 years have experienced you know, him living inside of him. So I'll just encourage you. It's very real. And uh, just give God a chance. He loves you very much. And he'll heal you, set you free of everything. Awesome. Hey, is there any book of the Bible that people, would you say they begin to read with a little bit more detail mm -hmm. as they're trying to seek the Holy Spirit? Definitely read the book of Acts. You know, a lot of people say to read Paul's letters. And, and that it's good. Paul's letters are true. But it's like, you know, the book of Acts is the instruction manual. You know, and, and, and Paul's letters would be like, you know, trying to build a car without instructions. You know, you can look at it and guess all you want to, but you really need to go back to, to the blueprint. And that's what the book of Acts is, is, the blueprint. I would encourage you to go back to that for sure. Awesome. Awesome. Brother Jack, God bless you, sir. You too, Thank sir. you for your time Thank and you. your testimony. Thank you, sir. Enjoy it.